Feeding time. Feed me more. Yo, welcome to Feeding Time. I am your host, the big guy Ryback. And it is feeding time, bitches. Today, guys, and I apologize in advance. I'm a little tired right now. Usually, I have, I'm filled with unlimited energy. I woke up at 5 this morning, and I didn't go to bed uh, till later. I don't know if I didn't get to bed till about 1. Maybe a little before that, but either way, I woke up. I was going to get up around 6, 6.30 this morning. But I had to go and um, do uh, with Taylor Spadaccino, who's on the smelling game with me on here. And uh, for you guys, a real looker, you might want to check her out. But don't check her out too much. Beat the shit out of you. Um, I'm kidding. The, uh, we had to go do a thing we didn't have to go do. We wanted to go do. We Taylor signed us up. Um, three Square, who I work with on Feed Me More Nutrition, and give a dollar of every sale on feedmemore.com to helping feed those in need. Um, they also work with Feeding America, which is Tony Robbins' program, and uh, the the Just One Project. And uh, they uh, handing out food and, and everything where you just set it down and people come out and, oh, mint, that's just, that's dynamite. Um, where they... Uh, that those in need can stock up on food. And they, they had a lot of food donated from all the, the casinos that were shut down out here that all their restaurants, they can't use all the perishable food. A lot of other food, they donated massive amounts. So they every once a month, they do it every third Saturday here. They set up uh, pop-up places in it, like all the schools or like throughout 10, I think 10 or 12 schools. And, uh, Man, the, then the guy I was talking to today who, who runs a lot of this, who's in charge, or at least for that location, was just saying it was the most people they've ever, ever had that he can recall. And um, there were a lot of people. I think with everything going on and Vegas is getting hit hard with everything, with the whole, you know, CV deal. So. so anyways, I apologize. I'm a little tired, but I'm hoping to put a little pep in my stomach. Ooh, guacamole. I wasn't expecting that. I got it all over my hand. Today, guys, I'm doing Cafe Rio, one of my favorites. Vegetarian burrito, enchilada style. They give you some lettuce and tomatoes on the side. It has the cheese on top, pinto beans, rice. They got me guacamole. I got, I think, mild uh, salsa all over it. I used to get mild and medium, but the way they have it, I just ordered the mild on it. I said, hell, I'm going to throw a little guac on this. I know somebody's going to want to, all the Jeffreys out there, the little bitches. Want, we want to see the guacamole go on the burrito. We don't want to just see. There you go, Jeffrey. Shut the fuck up. Bitch. Oh, don't, don't, don't think I can't hear you too, Karen. You shut the fuck up too. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and Move the camera back. We want to see the food on the... T Listen, guys. I want my face being shown at all times. Up close and personal. That's how we do it here on Feeding Time. I do have two burritos today, guys. I'm only going to probably eat one on this. And, uh, and I'm going to eat the other one in fucking peace. Do you understand me? Even though this is pretty damn peaceful, too. But people are stuck at home. People need entertainment. People need the big guy right back. Put me on your TV, guys. It's like being in your home with you, not just on your smartphone or tablet. Hook me up to the fucking TV. I don't know. It depends on how you talk to your kids about cussing. I think it's a very good thing. And you teach them that they're words that are just made up words and you don't use them and you learn to use them in the appropriate settings. Maybe you put an age limit on them. Maybe you don't want them cussing until they're out of the house at 18, which they cuss with their friends anyways, guys. Fucking newsflash. I did it my whole childhood. Don't cuss. And then me and my fucking friends cussed all the time. I'm like Gary Vaynerchuk. You don't give a shit. Just do it. If you don't like me because of it, I'm okay with that. I love myself. I know a lot of people love it and respect it. So just go with the flow. You love me, you hate me. I'm at least I'm me. Hmm. This is going to wake me right up. 
and then it's gonna knock me out. I don't nap anymore though. The, that was, first bite was, that was as delightful as it gets, guys. Mm. Wow. If you've never had Cafe Rio, you guys are missing out. They got the menu they have there. I love their chips and queso too. Man. Mm. Some people like to see the food. They like to see the cut marks. They like to examine it. All different people here. Some people like to just hear me talk. Some people like to hear me eat. You know, see me eat. I don't hear me eat. Yeah, some people like to hear me eat too. Mm. Man. Just sit back, relax. We have a big giant burrito. That's what she said. Mm. Got a lot of content coming, guys. We're really ramping it up. Mm. Everything going on. I got to tell you guys, too, thank you very much for supporting Feed Me More Nutrition. We are, last month was our best month we've ever had. We've been, it's been, this has been going on for like nine or ten months of just continuously beating records every month. And this month we are, we are, I'm blown away, quite frankly. It's, it's taking off at a level. It's actually causing a few problems inventory-wise. Because the levels I would normally reorder can't reorder at those levels anymore, and they're shooting down so fast. It's uh, and everything going on too. It's just been it's it's a great problem to have, but no. Coming out with new products. I think we're gonna have nine, ten, and eleven coming out. Working on a blueberry crush, wake up unlimited energy. Working on a peanut butter cup protein. We've got our kick out immune support coming out here in the next four weeks, hopefully. Pump Plex City will be out less than a week and a half, two weeks. The finish at BCAA is on reorder. We ran out of stock, but it's available on Amazon. It's crazy. And I got to get that cotton candy flavor out next on that. So, what we're going to probably just keep doing is running specials with everything going on, you know, so just get the cost down. I think we're doing, we're doing 50% off the Shell Shock right now, our number one seller, uh, code Shell Shock 50, and you get 50% off my Shell Shock Extreme Fat Burner. We're running that for quite a while. People have been buying that one like crazy. They always have. So, legit thank you. I, it's, uh, it's really cool. There's been a lot of work. There's gonna be a lot more work. But I killed myself for three years doing everything. And I, as I should have, you do the fucking work. But it was a lot <laughs> with everything going on. Mm. I can't wait to eat that other one. Mm. So good. Son of a bitch. Oh, man. But I will say, guys, it's very fulfilling. You know, we donate, like I said, and it was nice to have someone to go out there with. It was cool being and being recognized by people still, which is pretty cool, because it's been only four years in May that I've been off TV. So, 
for a pretty large amount of people to know who I am still means a lot. But it's nice to be able to help. And uh, you realize no matter how much you time you give or how much you give, it's never enough. But you can't dwell on that. You just got to do your best. And I think in times like this, it's really easy to get caught up focusing on the negative. We all have a lot of free time on our hands. As far as a lot of people don't, a lot of people like to distract themselves by going out. They can't do that anymore. So this is one of two things is going to happen. There's a lot of people that are going to drink and smoke like crazy to distract themselves and be on social media more than they've ever been. Which you'll see a lot of people complaining, focusing on all the negatives. Or you're going to find who you are in this time. And rise above. You're going to read. You're going to use your time wisely. Spend more time with your family. Go out. Be, be maybe be a little more active. And you know you got people that you know the complaining that people are posting their workout videos and. And if you're watching this and you're one of those people, guys, the reason why you're complaining watching those workout videos is because you're mad at yourself for sitting on your phone all day, getting pissed off, watching person after person post the workout videos. If you weren't just sitting there scrolling all day, you wouldn't be upset. You're upset with yourself. And if you can't get inspiration from that and go, you know what? I want to go fucking work out too. And you don't need to go post it yourself, but just go work out. You, you won't be mad. So... A little tip, if that's what's going on, because I, I see some, a lot of girls are getting a lot of shit for posting their home workouts. Never once got mad at that, because I'm doing stuff all day, and it's like, oh, cool, they want, they posted their home workout, they're being creative, and probably motivating some people to do the same, and then there's the other portion that just go from person to person, fucking the Jeffries jerking off from Instagram page to Instagram page, and then they're mad. They spent their whole day jerking off and they didn't work out. So they're mad at, you know, Susie and, and, and Michelle and Lily, Megan, because they're fucking pumping it up and they're not. It's your choice. Mm. I'm eating just the lettuce now. It's a little bit soft. Unbelievable. I tell you, these meals are really, really satisfying. My energy is a little down from just not sleeping as much. But then we go do it. It's my cardio day. No weights. Try to go knock out an hour. So. Mm. All right. So good. If you haven't had Cafe Rio, check it out. This was a vegetarian burrito. Keyword that was. Um, five stars. This was the first few bites made it worth it in itself. And um, with the melted cheese, get it enchilada style. And you can get it if you get it with chicken, pork, beef, whatever you get. But you can do all kinds of different burritos. They have all kinds of different food. But if you get that burrito, get it enchilada style, a.k.a. big guy style. Been doing that since I was a kid. Saw my pops do it at the old El Burrito when I was a kid. And he, he got a shredded beef burrito enchilada style. And I go, I'll have the same. I'll have the same. It was more like because of a little, little fucking guy. And I've been getting them ever since. Whenever I have Mexican. I love Mexican. Mexican women. Mexican food. Oh, I love it. Anyways. All right, guys. 
Oh, what do we got here? Thank you very much for watching, guys. One day at a time. That's all we can control. Focus on the positive. Get hungry. Stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy, Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.